I want to show you something that you can do if you have an Ion brand iCade arcade controller or similar arcade controller. Right here I have the Ion iCade Core. It's pretty basic. The, uh, the regular iCade is actually a small arcade cabinet, still stands about that tall, and you fit an iPad inside of it and you can play arcade games using the arcade controls. Now if you're like me and you don't really care for the Apple products too much, and especially the, uh, the App Store arcade games, they're pretty basic. Um, they, they charge maybe a little bit more than you'd like to pay for, for just some pretty basic games, and so you'd rather be playing on an emulator, hence the, uh, the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, so I've actually got my iCade connected to a Raspberry Pi. Uh, the way I do that is I took this, I stripped all the wires inside the, arc, the iCade, and connected them to the Raspberry Pi via the general purpose input-output pins. And for those not familiar, that's these... Uh, these pins on the side of the board. So as the name implies, they're just for general purpose, uh, used for input and output commands to the Raspberry Pi. So Adafruit's website has a, a handy little guide on how to do this. So nothing that I've done here is, is terribly groundbreaking. It's, it's not really any of my own work. I looked off the internet, so uh, definitely credit to Adafruit here. And actually I've, I've um, I've linked to Adafruit's website, that, that guide is specifically in the comments of uh, this video, so feel free to check that out. I made a few tweaks to the, to the, uh, the program a little bit because their guide shows you how to connect for uh, MAME or um, multiple arcade machine emulator. So there's just basic commands for up, down, left, right, jump, fire, what have you. So I've actually mapped mine for more console commands. So on my black keys here, I have A, B, Y, X, start, select. And then these two buttons over here, I've mapped to the escape key on the keyboard. So then that way, when I'm, when I'm in a game, I can just tap one of these and it, it brings me back to the game select screen. So yes, I'm missing the L and R shoulder buttons, but um, the nice thing about this is this is not a finished product. This is actually pretty much a proof of concept for me. I bought this iCade for a mere $20 on Amazon, if you can believe it. And I, I have um, project plans for that in the future. And I'll definitely keep you up to date on my YouTube channel, on my blog, on Bitfix Gaming's website. So uh, keep an eye out for that in the future. What I've actually done is I've embedded the Raspberry Pi inside the iCade, made some very rudimentary cuts here. So we've got our USB power here, we've got HDMI output, and I have another cut over here so I can access the Ethernet jack as well as a couple of the, uh, the USB ports. Now why don't we just fire it up so that way you can see some gameplay. I'm sure that's what you're dying to watch anyway. Start a little Super Mario Brothers. So the response on this is pretty good. As you can see, I'm, I'm going pretty quickly. Haven't had a problem falling into any pits or anything like that. Finished the level in pretty decent time. And as you can see, I didn't die, therefore the controllers have to work. Next I'm gonna try out a Super Nintendo game. Donkey Kong Country, one of my favorites. Now as you can plainly hear, the, uh, the push buttons are quite loud. 
So if you would like an arcade experience with not terribly large buttons, maybe you want to look at um, DigiKey or some other parts supplier to see what kind of arcade controls they have so that way they're not quite as noisy. So as you can see, the, the B button works, I can jump. The Y button works, I'm holding the barrel. A button works, I can swap my teammates. I'm not really sure what the X button does in this game. So you're gonna have to trust me that the X button works. And now maybe you'd prefer a little bit of um, classic arcade action. So let's try out Frogger. I love these old arcade games because you don't even need any action buttons. Straight up joystick. Well, that's all I wanted to show you. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks for watching.